hello friends in this video we are going to talk about transverse lie now when we call transverse lie when the long axis of uterus and the long axis of fetus are not parallel uh, that doesn't mean that the, the axis are always perpendicular okay it can be oblique also so all these kind of things are called transverse lie how we diagnose the transverse lie? The fundal height is decreased. The fundal height is not well up to the, uh, the duration of the pregnancy. Then you start suspecting that it can be a transverse lie. In transverse lie, the lower pole of the uterus is empty when you do the pelvic grip. And whenever you see any a patient comes with you the, with the hand prolapse and all this earlier uh, rupture of the membrane and hand prolapse and shoulder presentation you can also diagnose the condition <clears throat> what is the management of this thing if the patient comes to you before starting of labor or you or you already know that it is a transverse line and you diagnose before labor you can attempt external cephalic version with precautions but in most of the cases nowadays uh, in this kind of cases cesarean section is being preferred thank you